Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. Today we're going to talk about the new trending app called My Heritage. It's very popular on TikTok these days because of the new deep uh, nostalgia feature on this app. It basically lets you um, restore the old broken images and also lets you animate the images which kind of brings the old pictures back to life. So let's see how we can use that. So first thing you need to do is to download this from Play Store. So you go to Play Store and then you need to search for My Heritage app. And here's the first app which will come up and um, this is what you need to download. I've already downloaded and installed the app. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up, open up the app. So here we are on the home page of the app and as you can see this is the main interface. It has different options called tree, discoveries, DNA, photos, research. So we're going to look at these one by one. So first thing is the tree. Um, if you click on that, you'll see here it lets you add uh, different um, family members where you can add some info about each of your family members, your mother, your father, uh, your siblings, etc. And that way, once you're done with this, it creates a family tree for you. So this is a very cool feature. And then uh, once you've created a tree, it also lets you, um, it gathers some information for you and gives you some background info about your family tree. So that's one thing. Discoveries is the next one. Here, um, as you can see, if we scroll down, um, it basically lets uh, showing you how you can add people to your tree. You can add uh, some facts about the people you've already added. You can invite your family members. So these are all the things you can do. And again, at the bottom, it lets you go to the tree. So it's basically linked to the other uh, feature, which is called tree dna however which is the third one now this one it's basically a paid feature uh, as you can see it, you have to order it and it costs around 79 dollars um, basically what it does is uh, once you purchase it it gathers the information um, for regarding your family and your background your ancestors and um, that way it helps you um, meet or you know find out the people who are um, related um, to your ancestors so it could be um, very useful for some people um, but we are going to go back to the home page and we're going to explore the photos section which is the main popular thing about this app these days so let's see how we can use that if we click on photos and here um, as you can see, uh, it will show you all the photos you've added onto this app. Um, you, you also have the albums option where it uh, creates albums of your photos. So you could arrange your photos in different albums. Um, so go back to the all photos. I've added this particular photo already. However, if you want to add any particular photo, you can simply click on the plus icon down on the bottom right corner. And when you click on that, it gives you two options, add photos or scan photos and documents. So if you want to add something from uh, your phone, then you can simply click on the first add photos option. Or if you want to scan something, for example, if you want to use your camera to capture something and then you want to add it that particular picture, you could do that as well. And that way for that, you need to click on the second option. So now we're just going to play with the picture which I've already added. Um, so if I click on the picture here, here as you can see on the top, it gives you different options. Um, the first one on the left is um, basically the animation feature. If we click on that, as you can see, it's animating the picture for us. Now this takes some time, so um, so be patient as uh, it will take some time, especially for the first time. And even after you know you've added few pictures, it might take some time. 
Now, another thing I wanted to add here is that when you're um, downloading this app, there are a lot of people who are currently um, using this app and because of the new feature, this app has suddenly become very popular. So there are some um, bugs currently on this app because of the extra load of users. So be patient and if you're not able to um, sign in to the app, because first time if you're using the app, you would have to sign up for it using your Google or Facebook account or an email. So, um, you know, if when you're signing up, be patient and try it two, three times and then eventually it will work for you. So as you can see here, um, it has created uh, a video of the picture. I'm just going to play it again. Let's see how it has animated the picture. And as you can see, it has animated the picture and kind of, you know, it has created a small short video uh, of the picture we had initially, uh, which looks great. And on the top, if you see here, it says animation number nine. If you click on that, it gives you a drop down of uh, different animation types, which you can apply. By default, it selects the number nine. However, you can select any of the other animations as well. And um, you can check how, um, you know, how it is different from the first one. And then you can choose the one which uh, suits your particular taste. Once you have created an animation, you will get the options on the top to either download it, share it or delete it. For now, I'm just going to click on the cross because I'm not going to save it for now. So this is the first feature uh, in the photo section. Um, this is what is famous these days. Um, however, there are some other features here as well. If we click on the second option, as you can see, um, it gives you the before and after look. This is how you can restore an older picture. Let's see if I move this line towards right. As you can see, this is how the picture actually looks. But if we move the slider towards right, as you can see, uh, after uh, doing this um, announcement, the picture looks more uh, clear. So it adds more clarity to your pictures. Now this is a black and white picture. so. Um, you might have noticed some changes. However, um, if you had a diff if we had a different picture, then the effects could have been much more clearer. So it restores your older pictures and makes them more clearer. So this is another very good um, tool. Um, third option is the colorization. If you click on that, you'll see that uh, it adds colors uh, to the picture and does a very good job of keeping it natural so let's see if we move towards left and as you can see it has added um, some colors to the pictures uh, which kind of looks natural and you know it seems like this was the actual real picture so this is how it adds colors to your pictures so you can actually uh, you know colorize your black and white pictures this way of your um you know some family members um who are probably not there anymore so you this way you could colorize those pictures as well now after this sorry if you click on that again the fourth option is to tag so you can simply click somewhere on the picture and you can add people just like you know facebook tagging you can tag people on the pictures and obviously the fifth option is to share it with people. If you click on that, it lets you share either the original picture or the enhanced and colorized picture. So if we select one of the options, let's select the second one. And as you can see, it gives you some options to share. Uh, now you might uh, notice that it initially gives you only two options, but if you click on the more option here, and then it brings out all the different apps which are available on your phone and you can share it on whatsapp facebook wherever you want so you can use um, this way you can share it with your friends and family so once you're done with all the editing um if you click on the three dots on the right top right corner when you click on that it lets you add the photo info if you click on that 
Now this usually pops up at the start when you are actually adding a picture um, over here on the app, but I had already added the picture, so you might not have seen this step. So here you can actually rename the picture. If we call it, let's say something like this, um, you can just call it anything. And then you can click on the tick icon here and that way it renames the picture. You can also add the date and the place and some description of the picture as well. So that is up to you. And other than that, by clicking on those three dots on the top right corner, uh, once you're done with all the editing, you can save it to your library or uh, you could uh, delete the photo as well. And when you click on delete photo, here it gives you two options. You can either delete, for example, if you're not happy with the changes you've made to the picture and you want to keep the original one only, then you can simply um, select to delete the enhanced and colorized version of the picture and it only deletes that particular version. Let's see if we click on the right one. And you will see that it has deleted the other version of the picture. And now we have the original version only. So this is how you can, uh, if you want to undo any changes, you could do that and then you can revert back to the original picture and then make all the changes again as per your requirement. Another thing I would like to add uh, to this is that down at the bottom, you can see a microphone icon. And if you click on that, you can add your voice. Um, so you could do a voiceover or you could add some kind of uh, you know audio to your picture so just to make it a video overall so it adds along with your animation so it becomes like a proper video so that is another thing which you can do as well so uh, overall that's all for today i hope you've liked the video and you've learned something useful today so just play with the app and make the changes as per your own particular requirements and have fun. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.